learners in previous lecture you have learnt about use of different sources in economics indian traditional heritage ancient indian philosophers like kautilya and thiruvalluvar and their major writings about wealth creation modern economists like adam smith and j m keynes and their writings emergence of macroeconomics difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics broad economic questions that concern all citizens who are the decision makers in macroeconomic policy and what they try to do impact of covid-19 pandemic on indian economy using different sources brief about great depression 1929 and emergence of macroeconomics learners today you will learn about important features of a capitalist economy and major sectors in an economy according to the macroeconomic point of view using real life examples learners in macroeconomics the working of a capitalist economy has been mostly dealt in available text word by a capitalist economy can be defined as an economy in which most of the economic activities have the following characteristics one there is a private ownership of means of production two production takes place for selling the output in the market three there is sale and purchase of labor services at a price which is called the wage rate the labor which is sold and purchased against wages is referred to as wage labor learners if we apply this criterion to the countries of the world we would find that capitalist countries have come into being only during the last 3 to 400 years even at present a handful of countries in north america europe and asia will qualify as capitalist countries learners as you know that in many underdeveloped countries production especially in agriculture is carried out by peasant families wage labor is seldom used and most of the labor is performed by the family members themselves production is not solely for the market a great part of it is consumed by the family neither do many peasant farms experience significant rise in capital stock over time in many tribal societies the ownership of land does not exist the land may belong to the whole tribe learners you also know that many developing countries have a significant presence of production units which are organized according to capitalist principles learners there are four sectors in the capitalist economy these are production units state household and external sector learners now we will learn about these four sectors in the capitalist economy the production units are called firms in a firm the entrepreneur is at the helm of the affairs she hires wage labor from the market she employs the services of capital and land as well after hiring these inputs she undertakes the task of production her motive for producing goods and services which is called as output is to sell them in the market and earn profits in the process she undertakes risks and uncertainties for example she may not get a high enough price for the goods she is producing this may lead to fall in the profits that she earns 
learners, it is to be noted here that in a capitalist country, the factors of production earn their incomes through the process of production and sale of the resultant output in the market. In both the developed and developing countries, apart from the private capitalist sector, there is the institution of state. Learners, the role of the state includes framing laws, enforcing them and delivering justice. The state in many instances undertakes production apart from imposing taxes and spending money on building public infrastructure, running schools, colleges, providing health services, etcetera. Learners, these economic functions of the state have to be taken into account when we want to describe the economy of the country. For convenience, we use the term government to denote state. Learners, by now, you might have understood the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on Indian economy, especially on output of goods and services and employment in the economy. Domestic economy activity has been impacted severely by the two month lockdown. The indicators point to collapse in demand and there is a fall in demand for electricity and petroleum products. The biggest blow is to private consumption that accounts for 60 percent domestic demand. Learners, the combined impact of demand compression and supply disruption depress economic activity in the first half of 2021. The combined fiscal, monetary and administrative measures currently undertaken by both the government and the RBI create conditions for gradual revival of activities in the second half of 2021. We will discuss these measures in short here to make you understand the role of government in reviving the economy. Learners, you can see in the slide that young India combating COVID with knowledge, technology and innovation. Yukti, a web portal has been launched by MHRD to keep the academic community healthy and to enable a continuous high quality learning environment for learners and to achieve its goals in COVID-19 pandemic difficult times in April 2020. Learners, Government of India announced in March 2020 a Rs 1.70 lakh crore package under the PM Garib Kalyan Yojana directed at bringing relief to the urban and rural poor, migrant workers and women in the bottom rung of the socio-economic strata. The package was disbursed through food security measures for poor households and through direct cash transfers. Government of India also announced medical insurance of rupees 50 lakh each for paramedics, nurses, ASHA workers and others working on the front line of fighting the COVID-19 across the country which benefited about 20 lakh people. Learners, under the PM Garib Kalyan An Yojana, 80 crore poor people covering about two thirds of the country's population got 5 kg rice or wheat each month till June 2020 free of charge. In addition to the 5 kg they already get. Each household got 1 kg of dal of their choice till June 2020, also free of charge. The inclusion of extra un in the existing Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana, keeping in view 
the regional preferences and the essential nutrition intake is highly appreciated. This will go a long way in maintaining the nutrition of the poor and also restrain a situation of panic in the current times. Learners, Government of India also announced rupees 20 lakh crore package in April 2020, which was 10 percent of GDP as per government announcement. Government of India announced eight separate measures directed at farmers, those registered account holders under farmers PM Kisan Yojana, Manrega workers, BPL households under PM Ujjula scheme, Jan Dhan Yojana accounts held by women, credit to self-help groups for women, pensioner, divyang and widow receiving assistance under national social assistance program, organized sector workers through EPFO and construction workers. Learners, you can see in the slide that the government deposited rupees 2000 to each of the 8.69 crore farmers accounts registered under PM Kisan Yojana starting April 1st, 2020, while a wage increase from rupees 182 to 202 rupees for Manrega workers also approved, giving rupees 2000 additional income to daily wage workers. The Manrega wage increase will benefit 5 crore families. Manrega allocations have been increased by rupees 40,000 crore, 0.2 percent of GDP. Learners, under the Ujjula scheme, 8.3 crore BPL households with an LPG connection under the Pradhan Mantri Ujjula Yojana were given free cylinders till June 2020. 20 crore women Jandhan account holders under the Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana got rupees 500 ex gratia per month till June 2020. Women self-help groups under the Deen Dayal Upadhyay Yojana were able to take collateral free loans up to rupees 20 lakh, up from rupees 10 lakh earlier. This impacted 7 crore households. Learners for above 60 years, widows and divyang, as gratia of rupees 1000 in two installments has been announced which will benefit 3 crore of the poor. Three months pension in advance distributed in April 2020 under National Social Assistance Program. For the organized sector, government ensured money in hand and money in the provident fund accounts. The government paid the EPF contribution for both employer and the employee about 24 percent till June 2020. In establishments where up to 100 people are employed and 90 percent of who earn less than rupees 15,000 a month, directions were given to states to utilize construction workers fund of rupees 31,000 crore to protect 3.5 crore registered workers against economic disruption as many building and construction had been stopped. Learners, states were directed to use the district mineral fund for medical testing, screening activities and other requirement to prevent the spread of the virus. Learners, relief package to micro, small and medium enterprises, MSMEs was also announced. Rupees 3 lakh crore collateral free loan with 100 percent credit guarantee is to be given to MSMEs. Rupees 20,000 crore subordinate debt for stressed 
MSMEs. Rupees 50,000 crore equity infusion for MSMEs with growth potential and viability through fund of funds, investment limit revised upwards, additional criteria of turnover introduced. No global tenders for government contracts up to rupees 200 crore e-market linkage to be promoted as replacement of trade fairs and exhibitions. MSMEs dues to be cleared within 45 days. Learners, one more important thing Government of India announced was Atm Nirbhar Bharat to revive our economy after lockdown. It is the application of Gandhi Swadeshi. Gandhi ji used to say that the true India is to be found not in its few cities, but in its villages. If the villages perish, India will perish too. For implementing Atm Nirbhar Bharat to improve the economy, government has to involve itself at ground level. For example, learners, government of India has to give due importance to the farming system. It has to involve itself at ground level. Marketing of farm produce should be at government level. Marketing of organic farming produce should be at government level so that farmers may come forward and their income may be increased. With organic farming, health of the soil as well as the health of human beings will also improve. Learners for agriculture and allied activities such as beekeeping, fruits, flowers and vegetables. There is marketing but not as much as required at government level. There should be government flower chambers so that regular income of the farmers can be assured. Landless laborers can do beekeeping and mushroom cultivation, but there is need of marketing. There is need of district wise plan with timeline, short term, mid term and long term from government side. Accountability should be fixed. It means who will do what, when and how. Proper monitoring should be done by government. Learners, government of India has to promote e-commerce in allied activities like cereal crops. Thereby, there will be transparency and farmers income will also increase. There should be arrangement of seeds and fertilizer at village level. For example, one government center for 20 villages may be established. Learners, share of micro, small and medium enterprises in India's GDP is 29 percent and share of MSMEs in India's exports is 48 percent. There should be control of government over MSMEs. MSMEs will be successful when there is control of the government at ground level. For example, loan should be used for the work it has been taken. This should be ensured by the government at district level. There should not be any misuse of this loan amount. Learners, we may revive our economy following the balanced approach for agriculture and industry. This way, we may dream of 5 trillion US dollar economy by 2028. Learners, we need to integrate assemble in India into make in India to focus on labor intensive exports and thereby create jobs at large scale. Efficiently scale up the banking sector to be proportionate to the size of the Indian economy. 
and track the health of the shadow banking sector. Learners, India's aspiration to become a 5 trillion US dollar economy depends critically on strengthening the invisible hand of market together with the hand of trust that can support markets. The invisible hand needs to be strengthened by promoting pro-business policies to provide equal opportunities for new entrants, enable fair competition and ease of doing business. Two, eliminate policies that undermine markets through government intervention even where it is not necessary. Three, enable trade for job creation and efficiently scale up the banking sector to be proportionate to the size of the Indian economy. Learners, trust as a public good that gets enhanced with greater use means that policies must empower transparency and effective enforcement using data and technology to enhance this public good. Learners, if you want more details about relief package announced by Government of India, please read the Government of India reports and documents. Learners, by now you might have understood the role of government in providing needed financial reliefs to the poor, the young, widow, senior citizens, women, farmers, organized sector workers and Manrega workers etc. in time of COVID-19 pandemic. Government played an important role in reviving the economy when there was no economic activity during more than two months lockdown. Learners, till now you have learnt about production units, those are called firms and role of government in providing facilities, relief packages to revive the economy in times of COVID-19 pandemic. In next lecture, you will learn about household and external sector using different real life examples. Till then, goodbye, happy learning.